In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can add your Facebook feed onto a page on your website. So the way we do this is we're gonna add a plugin and we're gonna basically be in the, logged into the dashboard of our WordPress website. I'm gonna to go to plugins and add new. And then going up the top and searching for smash balloon. And you'll notice there is a smash balloon social post feed right here. We're going to install that plugin and then activate it. Once that is installed, you'll notice that uh, we have this Facebook feed on the left here. Or if you find Smash Balloon in your plugins, you can also go to settings from there. But we're actually just going to go down here and we're going to click on Facebook feed. And it's a pretty straightforward process. It simply guides you through. We click add new at the top here. We want to add timeline. If you decide you want to go for the pro version of this plugin, you do have these other options as well, which is really cool. But uh, if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. Otherwise we click next and we want to select a source. So we click add new. And this will take me to the Smash Balloon website where I'll connect up to Facebook. I click connect to Facebook, you can also connect to a group, but we're going to connect to Facebook. And you can see I've done this before, so it says you've previously linked Smash Balloon WordPress to Facebook, but basically you'll get a screen similar to this. You want to say continue. And we're going to pick a page, so we're going to pick this Creator Impact page of mine and we're going to add it in. And now I'm going to choose this page here and click next. And you see, we get a few notes up here about how to embed the feed. So you can add as a page or a widget. Uh, you can customize the feed and there's other settings that you can go through as well. So essentially, this is what our feed looks like right now. It's got my Facebook header, my ID photo, how many people like the page. And then it's also got the posts that I have created here. And if I want to, I can go to customize and where it has template, you'll see we have the default template, but we can also go into feed type and check out those options there. Now with the feed layout, you can see we have a list here. We also have masonry. So we have like the more confined sort of like areas like that. Carousel, which I believe is a pro feature. And we can also change the feed height if we want to by making it say 600 pixels, which is not very big at all. I'll leave that as is. And we can also limit the number of posts. So on desktop, we might say it's 20. On mobile, we might say it's 10. And we can also change things because we've got the masonry layout. We can change how many columns. So if we want to have up to six, which is a bit much, you can have two. Uh, and you can change how many columns on tablet or mobile below as well. Or if we simply go back up to list, it's a simpler set of options to work with. But we're happy with that. So we're going to go back and color scheme. We can change it to a dark. So we've got light color scheme, a dark color scheme, or a custom color scheme where we can set up different colors. So for example, the background could be red, which would look pretty bad. Um, and another background, top background red, background two might be like a darker red. Uh, you sort of get the idea. You can actually customize the text um, to look a certain way. So if I want the green here, so you can see how it starts to come together. But uh, I'm not gonna go too in detail on that. You can go through, set that up, get it looking the way you want. For now, I'm going to stick with light or actually inherit from theme because I want it to look like my website. So that will automatically inherit the styles from my website. And there's a few other options here like header. At the moment, it's visual. We can turn it to text, which just says Facebook posts. With the icon, there's a few different icons you can choose here if you want to customize how that looks. So that way, if you want YouTube on there, Vimeo, you can go in and make the, get that looking the way you want. And you can change the icon size and color so we can make it more of a Facebook blue if we decide we want to do that. And watch this Facebook posts, change it to latest updates from Facebook. So we can basically go in and inherit is good. Once again, it matches our theme. And we can change the background color as well to something else. So we got a different background color. Of course, it's a little bit too close to the text to look good, but we can add some spacing here by adding padding. So you can see if I scroll up, it's very close. If I add 20, we get a nice block at the top of our page. So that can be effective 
for something that's a slightly different color if you want to go that way. For now, we're going to wipe those and just leave it like that. Latest updates from Facebook. The header, we can also just turn the header off. And that way you can put your own header in there in the block editor and you just have your feed. We're going to leave it on there for now. And you simply want to go through, check out these options. As you can see, we've got boxed, which means, for example, with the box, you can create a box shadow. So you get a shadow around each post and have the background color that is white so it stands out amongst the background if you want to do things that way. And if you want to curve the corners, you can adjust it there and get a better look. Regular is pretty straightforward and there's just a little separating line here which you can also change the color of there or the thickness if you decide to do that or you put it on zero and have no line there at all. So it's pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of going through. We've got a like box down the bottom. I can turn that off. Turn the cover photo off, turn it on. I can actually just turn it off altogether. So the like box, I think, uh, you know, you can do that pretty easily just with some embeddable code rather than going through the trouble of having a plugin which slows down your site, but you can also set up a custom width. So you've got a lot of controls here that you can use. Show fans, that sort of thing. I'm actually gonna turn that off just because I think it'll look better without it. We've got the load more button, which is a pro feature, so to load more posts. And the light box, once again, a pro feature. So when the user clicks on a post, it'll actually pop up with a light box. But otherwise, we're pretty happy with our feed the way it is, just using this free version with the free features. I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna click on embed. And you'll see here, we get a nice short code that we can copy or you can use the block and add it to a page or add a widget to a sidebar, something like that. So uh, I'm just gonna click on this for now. And what we can do is we don't have a spare page. We're just gonna add it to, uh, I'm just gonna leave that for now. We'll leave it, we'll go in bed and we'll go back and simply copy that feed. Now I'm gonna add a new page. Use default editor and call this one Facebook. Updates. And then I can click on here and click the plus button to add a short code. And paste that short code in there. And now if I preview this page in a new tab, you'll see here we have our latest updates from Facebook and the various items associated with it. Now, you see here the photos, I believe it is a pro uh, feature to actually have the photos display in your feed. Otherwise it is just text at the moment. But uh, that's still, it's still pretty handy for a free plugin. Remember you can go, like I said, you can go pro if you wanna get a little bit further with it. Uh, but that is pretty much how that works. Now the other thing I can do is, like I said, you can go back into those settings and add a block. So if I'm on this page right here, I can click plus and type in feed. And I've got a custom Facebook feed there. So I can add my feed in that way as a block if I want to. And like I said also, if you're using an old fashioned uh, widget style WordPress, you can go into your sidebar and add it in there. Otherwise, these days with your sidebar and widgets, it's actually a block again. So you can just simply add that block in as well. So that is pretty much it. That is, has become very simple these days to do this. Embedding a Facebook feed onto your page is now incredibly simple with Smash Balloon and their free plugins. Like I said, check out the Pro plugin if you want more. And also uh, they have a great plugin for Instagram. So I'll pop a video up are on the screen now and also in the description below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you like it and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.